be extended for another month. It was due to run out at the end of March. It'll now run to the end of April. So some good news to support some workers, but not, of course, for everyone. Let me introduce you to Faz, who's with us this morning. He runs a restaurant just around the corner from here. Faz, morning. Good morning. Um, look, talk to me about the timing of this. You've not had a lot of notice to close, have you? No, I mean, it was announced yesterday, um, and we've lost lots of bookings. Christmas is a time where people relax and family time. New Year's Eve, big celebration. All the bookings are gone. Mm. So the time wasn't ideal. Um, wish we had been notified a bit before, um, but what can we do? That's the situation. And unlike Susie, you are able to offer takeaway, aren't you, from your restaurant, but even that doesn't really make you the money you need to pay your staff. Yeah, so we haven't closed through the pandemic. We've um, operated on delivery and takeaways when needed, but it's a bit of a loss leader. Um, we're a big premises. Takeaways are usually small, so we've got higher costs. Um, so it's just to retain our customers, really, mm. and keep the service going. It's very competitive. If we close for six months, our customers are going elsewhere. So, yeah, it's, you know, financially it would make sense just to close, come back, but logically you, know, you want to keep your customers. And a quick word on the frustration that you feel about the tier system. We know a lot of people find it difficult because, you know, big areas are lumped in with, you know, other areas. But for you, that's particularly uh, uh, frustrating. Yeah, well, my understanding is, is the local hospital is under pressure, so we need to be in tier three, which is understandable. But we're six miles away from the hospital, and two miles away from the hospital, there's areas that are open. Mm. So I can't see how that is making sense. Surely that's the catchment area that are using the hospital. I mean, only 30% of Portsmouth people are actually using the hospital. Mm. So 60% is a surrounding area, and yeah. they've kept some of it tier two, which for me is, you know, it baffles me really. Faz, good luck with it Thank you. through all of this. Really nice to see you this morning. Um, so, look, I mean, that's the frustration that a lot of businesses are facing right now. So many issues for them to contend with, whether it's stock, whether it's their staff, or as you heard from Faz there, you know, just making the, that system work for them, being able to offer things like takeaways. Um, we're going to talk more about this a little later, but from here in Portsmouth, back to you. Ben, thanks very much. Um, yeah. You just you hear it, don't you? We obviously wish them all the best of luck, as Ben said, because it, these are tough times and without, without knowing what's going to happen after Christmas. Yeah, we'll have more, of course, on the effects on the economy and all the changes in tears as well coming up throughout the programme this morning.